talk to us about odontoid fractures. Good morning. I would like to summarize uh, treatment of uh, odontoid fracture. Uh, odontoid fracture uh, represent about 10 to 80 percent of cervical fracture. Uh, neurologic injury may occur, uh, occur in 0 to 25 of all patients. 60 uh, percent of axis fracture are odontoid fracture. More than 50 percent associated cervical injury, more uh, commonly atlantoaxial complex injury. It is commonly seen in elderly patients. And uh, according to Anderson de Alonso, is, uh, there are three type fracture. The most uh, common uh, uh, type is uh, type two. And the uh, treatment goals of odontoid fracture are restoration of normal alignment, achieve bone fusion, prevent future neurologic compromise. Uh, Type 1 fracture are avulsion, uh, avulsion fracture from the tip of dance at the insertion of alar ligament, mechanically intact. Uh, treatment, uh, uh, surge, uh, uh, conservative treatment is enough. Uh, if there is associated atlantoxial complex injury, surgical treatment is mandatory. And uh, type 2 fracture most commonly uh, uh, seam fracture type is they have high non-union uh, rate due to poor vascular bed and poor cancellous bone and uh, conservative treatment can be tried but surgical treatment is mandatory in uh, type 2a fracture and uh, type 2 fracture uh, they they have uh, high non-union rate 10 to 70 percent. Uh, risk factor of, uh, of risk factors for non-union are initial displacement more than six uh, millimeter, age older than 60 years of uh, 60 years, delay in diagnosis more than three weeks, angulation more than 10 degrees, and, and posterior displacement. And uh, uh, type 3 fractures uh, are more stable fracture. They have low non-union rate due to well uh, vascularization. Uh, conservative treatment uh, is uh, uh, generally acceptable in type 3 fracture. And uh, fracture fragment displacement uh, can be anterior, lateral, posterior. Anterior displacement is most commonly seen. Neurological deficit is mo most commonly seen in posterior displacement. And the uh, treatment of odontoid fracture is controversial. Uh, there are several uh, 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 treatment options in favor of conservative and surgical treatment. And uh, HALO uh, can be used in early diagnosis, younger than 65 years in type 2 with, uh, uh, with no or uh, minimal displacement in type 3 fractures. Conservative treatment is indicated in type 1 fracture and white and deep based type 3 fracture. Surgical treatment is indicated in type 2 fractures type 2A fractures and shallow base type 3 fractures due to instability and high non-union rate. And uh, halo immobilization and an anterior odontoid screw is contraindicated in elderly patients due to osteoporosis and comorbid factors. C1, C2 screw road fixation is preferred surgical treatment in type 2 and 3 fracture in elderly patient because of posterior structure are less affected by osteoporosis, there is no need for external immobilization after C1, C2 secret rod fixation. And uh, anterior odontoid secret fixation is good solution in displaced type 2 and shallow type 3 fracture, po polytrauma patient, uh, early displacement uh, despite hollow vest, and anterior oblique fracture and it should not be used uh, in 
body habitus, uh, spacket injury, and reverse oblique fracture. And uh, odontoid uh, screw fixation has uh, some advantages, such as less invasive dissection, uh, le less operative morbidity, and less risk of damage the neural structure and vertebral artery. And the preferred method in young patient, high fusion rate has been reported, uh, 91 to 100%. Uh, Preserve C1, C2 mobility. Uh, Anterior fixation has a, some disadvantages, uh, the, uh, uh, such as require bi biplanar fluoroscopy and rotational stability is questionable in single screw technique and compression with screw may cause displacement in reverse oblique fracture. And uh, there is no significant difference between one and two screw technique found under loading to failure. The Two C groove technique provided increased stiffness in extension loading. And uh, if anatomic reduction is not restored, anterior odontic C groove fixation cannot provide stabilization in fracture with anterior displacement. In posterior dis uh, displaced fracture, fixation with anterior odontic C groove is possible, although anatomic reduction is not maintained. As a 40 year uh, your all um, male patient is uh, uh, anterior oblique uh, fracture. Uh, uh, we have performed anterior, anterior odontoid screw fixation. Uh, you can see uh, when as uh, there are uh, several posterior fixation technique for uh, odontoid fracture. Posterior wiring, transarticular, modify Magali C1, C2, uh, uh, C group technique. Next speaker uh, talk about C1, C2 fixation technique. Uh, C1, C2 transarticular C group fixation more stable uh, when compared to posterior wiring technique. Transarticular screw fixation and C1, C2 screw rod fixation provide equal rigidity biomechanically. And uh, now is uh, next speaker talk about it. If there is unilateral vertebral artery injury and if intact vertebral artery is dominant site, pars or intralaminar screw should be used for C2 fixation to prevent iatrogenic injury to vertebral artery. Preoperative CT angiography is mandatory to show the relation of vertebral artery to C1 and C2 uh, vertebra. And the 70 year old uh, femoral patient, uh, anterior, uh, this plus, uh, anterior uh, oblique type fracture, uh, we have performed posterior C1 C2 fixation, and you can see reduction of the fracture. And uh, the other 65-year-old uh, uh, femoral patient is uh, anterior uh, displaced uh, and lateral displaced, and, uh, very severe, and is uh, po posterior fixation with uh, C1, C2, and uh, you can see good reduction. And uh, the other 77-year-old patient is, uh, uh, is lumbar, uh, uh, multi uh, uh, multiple trauma uh, patient and his C1, C2 fixation uh, uh, for uh, odontoid uh, fracture. 88-year-old uh, uh, patient now is uh, extension uh, type is posterior uh, reverse oblique uh, uh, fracture and, uh, and the C1, C2 fixation in this case. And uh, 72-year-old uh, is, uh, and uh, uh, also you can see uh, odontoid uh, uh, atlas fracture in this case as a C1, C2 fixation and hollow uh, uh, immobilization uh, for atlas fracture. And uh, 90-year-old is uh, odontoid fracture, uh, 
and uh, also atlas fracture and vertebral artery injury in this case and uh, uh, in this case uh, sorry uh, this this case is uh, just this uh, uh, odontoid fracture and c5 c6 uh, uh, hyperextension type injury and c1 c2 fixation and uh, anterior fixation uh, for c5 c6 extension type injury and the uh, 33 year old atlas fracture left ar vertebral artery injury together and in this case uh, is, uh, we, we have performed a, a temporary occipital cervical fix fix posterior fixation uh, for atlas fracture and uh, anterior uh, odontate fracture uh, for uh, uh, anterior odontate screw fixation for odontate fracture and we removed uh, the posterior fixation two months later uh, and uh, 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 you can see uh, after removed uh, the posterior fixation and the uh, 70 year old uh, uh, she had uh, three previous surgery uh, uh, old uh, 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 Odontoid fracture also is very severe uh, uh, spinal cord compression uh, for a magnum level is uh, uh, also is uh, very severe uh, uh, myelomalacia is uh, uh, in this case is uh, uh, anterior posterior uh, fixation and transoral decompression. Anterior odontate secret uh, is a good treatment option is posteriorly displaced uh, type 2 3 fracture in young patient uh, since it preserves C1 C2 mob mobility less invasive surgical treatment method is posterior C1 C2 stabilization is suitable in fracture with anterior displacement associated upper cervical injury like transverse ligament uh, rupture and osteoporotic early patient if patient is associated at last fracture or upper cervical ligament injury, occiput C2 fixation initially then remove of occipital part of instrumentation after healing of atlas fracture. Preoperative CT angiography is mandatory to show the relation of C2 vertebral artery to determine type of C2 instrumentation. If unilateral vertebral artery injury present and the intact vertebral artery is the dominant one, C two parts or intralaminar screw should be preferred. Thank you very much for your attention.